Hi, this video is about the work done by the constant force or the variable force. So in this video, you will learn how to solve the questions in which I have used the formula of like work done is equals to F dot S, which is the dot product. Actually work done is the dot product of force and displacement. And also work done by the variable force by using that graph in which you find the work done by finding the area under the graph. Please watch the whole video for the better understanding of the chapter. And if you have any doubt regarding the video, please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Dinesh, you're watching Dinesh Nyal classes. Let's start with our class today. A man pushes a roller with a force of 50 Newton through a distance of 20 meter. Calculate the work done if the handle of the roller is inclined at an angle of 60 degree with the ground. Now see what is all given to us. See force is what given to us is force is 50 Newton and S is actually uh, 20 meter. This is the distance covered. S is 20 meter and what is theta? Theta is theta is 60 degree given to us. Now what will be the work done? See, by using that formula, we know that work is the dot product of force into displacement, which is equals to F S cos theta. Now, substituting the values, work done, the work done will be, this is 50, this is into 20, and this is cos 60 degree. So, we know that it is 15 to 25 to the 10, this goes 1000 into cos 60 is 1 by 2. So this comes out to be 500 joules. So hence the work done is 500 joules. A uniform chain of length L and mass M is lying on a smooth horizontal table. On a smooth table and one third of its length. Now see, one third of the length is hanging vertically down the edge of the table. Hanging vertically down the edge of the table. If G is the acceleration due to gravity, calculate the work required to pull the hanging part on the table. So you have to pull the hanging part on the table. See here, the weight weight of length of the chain. Weight, see here, weight of length, weight of length L of the chain. Is how much that is equal to mg because its mass total mass is m m into g so weight is mg now see one third is actually lying so the weight of so the weight of length l by 3 of the chain which is actually hanging this will be 1 by 3 of mg so total is mg the lying part is the weight of the lying part, <coughs> which is hanging, sorry, not lying, which is hanging part from the table is 1 by 3 mg. Now see, the center of the gravity of the hanging part lies at the middle point, that is at a distance of, this will be L by 6, below the edge of the table, below the edge of the table. Now see, if you take the total length L, so center of gravity is basically L by 2. Now from that L by 2, actually one third is hanging. So basically L by 2 into 1 by 3. So this will be actually L by 2 into 1 by 3, which comes out to be L by 6. So this is the L by 6 below the edge of the table, means the center of the gravity which we are taking <laughs> is L by 6. So that will be the distance moved. Now what is work done? Work done is equal to force into displacement. Now we know that force is what? 1 by 3 of mg. Now displacement. This is actually the displacement. L by 6 is displacement into L by 6. But this is 6. So which is mgl by 18 will be the <coughs> work done to pull the hanging part on the table. A body moves from point A to B under the action of force varying in magnitude as shown in the graph. 
now let's see the graph so this is the graph as you can see so this is the this is actually the force and this is the displacement this is force and this is displacement now as shown in the graph obtain the work done force is expressed in newton and displacement is in meter so this force actually the force is this is the force you can represent this the force and this is the displacement s the x axis represent the displacement x okay <clears throat> now see as the work done is equals to area under the fs curve now see this is the graph now this was the graph so we have joined all this so basically this will be the area under this curve as you can see these curves now as the work done w is equals to area under the fs curve therefore now see <clears throat> now the area under the the work done is what work done is equals to area under fs curve okay so work ab actually work in moving from a to b a to b moving from a to b is basically the work which is represented as w12 w23 w34 plus w45 so wab can be written like this this is equals to wab is w12 plus w23 plus w34 plus w45 so this is actually equals to area under what ak plus area under what kl plus area under lm minus the area under mb so see <coughs> this will be ak area under ak plus area under kl plus area under lm minus the area under mb minus the area under mb now the point here to be noted is that see work done is actually a scalar quantity so the note here is that the point to be noted here is that the work done is taken as negative when the direction of the force is reversed so in this case the direction of force is reversed so here you have to take the work done as negative and the total work done is the algebraic sum of the work done in parts so see now area under ak plus area under akl now see area under ak ak is what this is actually a rectangle so 10 into 1 so this is <coughs> equals 10 times 1 plus area under kl now see kl is basically divided into two parts so see this is a rectangle one which is same as 10 because this is 10 into 1 so plus 10 into 1 put this in braces plus now see this is a triangle now the height of this is how much is 5 because 10 minus 15 this is 5 and this is 1 so we know that this is a height sorry the area of a triangle is half into base into height so height is 5 base is 1 so basically this will be 5 into 1 by 2 so which is the area of Now area of LM is again triangle. Now in triangle, this is what height is fifteen, base is one. That is fifteen into one by two. Plus you do plus fifteen into one by two. Now minus minus again. This is what this is a triangle only. So this is fifteen again into one. So minus fifteen into one by two. <coughs> okay. Now solve this. See, this is ten, ten. This is two point five. This seven point five, and this is minus seven point five. So writing the values. So this is ten plus ten plus two point five. This one is seven point five minus seven point five. You cancel this. Ten, ten, twenty, twenty-two point five. So W A B is twenty-two point five joule of work is done.